Welcome friends, I am Luxinamark, and the footage you just saw shows off a game mechanic that the community calls chain firing. It looks real fancy, but for a long time it has been a bit of a pain to set up, especially on mobile, but no longer. I'll help you get chain firing set up on your system, and you'll be able to shred your large targets with ease, just like this. Before we begin, I should explain what chain firing is, as well as mention why chain firing is useful, as well as when it won't be. In Vendetta Online, when you fire your weapons, they will typically all fire at the same time. In most situations, this is perfectly fine, and sometimes even preferred. You get a large burst of damage all at once, supposing your shots hit their target. However, this also means that this singular high damage salvo of projectiles could also miss, and then you'd have lost all that potential damage and energy. This can and usually is fine, especially if you're fighting against most NPCs, but when your opponent is an agile fighter, and especially in player versus player scenarios, your full salvo shots are actually relatively easy to avoid. Just take a look at this comparison footage. You should be able to see the distance between each individual projectile. This right here is the main advantage of chain firing weapons. By closing up the distance between projectiles and spreading them out over a bit of time, you raise the chances of damaging your target. While having high burst damage through salvo firing your weapon sounds enticing, it is generally better to increase the odds of getting any damage at all by chaining your weapons, as you will miss 90% of the shots you take anyways. As I'd mentioned, this is great in PvP scenarios, but I must bring up that in, against most PvE situations, where you're dealing with NPCs, chain firing will actually degrade your performance. The bots in Vendetta Online increase their reaction strength to incoming projectiles based on a number of unique projectiles that are in their vicinity over time. As such, long delay burst damage is more likely to hit your target unless they are significantly large or slow. That's great and all, but I'm sure you're wondering how chain firing is actually achieved. The mechanic is actually quite simple. All you need is a method to separate how your blasters are fired. The first implementation is something that we call mechanical chain firing. You simply put one blaster on each of your triggers and then when you're ready to shoot at something, just press one a bit after the other. Of course, the chain firing I'm showing off in this video is not mechanical. Historically, this was created through an extensive set of alias commands and binds, but setting those up was such a chore that back when I first made the chain firing video, I didn't even cover how to set it up. I still refuse to touch aliases, which is why I made this. This plugin, ACAM, Advanced Chain Fire Automation Module, this plugin provides drop in chain fire capability for any and all pilots, and is available at both Nexus Mods and the Voper repository. Installation is simple, the plugin has no dependencies, so simply drop it into your plugins directory. If you're new to modding Vendetta Online, I'll have a link in the description to a video that'll help you out with all of that. Once you have installed the plugin, grab a ship and some equipment for its multiple ports. We'll use a Hornet with a Quad Positron in this video, but the ACAM utility can work with any multi-port ship. Open the ACAM utility just by typing slash ACAM in the chat and you'll see a small window appear, and from here we can configure your chain fire setup. First, press the button Set Up Weapons for Chain Fire. This uses a game mechanic called Weapon Groups to separate each blaster into its own unique trigger. You can do this manually in the PDA in the Ship tab, but for a simple single blaster per trigger setup, ACAM can manage that for you. Next, we just need to change a few settings. Make sure to turn on the top toggle if it is off, and then set the automatic calculation to basic for now. Set the subgroup to the number of blasters you have on your ship, and type the same amount in the field below it. Afterwards, hit close and you can launch. 
When you launch from a station, a cam will try to look up your weapon's delay and use that to alternate between each weapon group on a very fast timer. The end result is as you see, your weapons will chain fire. If everything worked out well, then great! I hope you have a fun time chainsawing your enemies into pieces with your hot plasma. If, however, you are still having some issues, please let me know. I made a cam, so figuring out issues with it is my priority. Eh, here are a couple common problems that might help, however. First, and what I hope is obvious, is that chain firing cannot occur if you don't have multiple add-on ports. You cannot alternate blasters when you don't have multiple blasters. Again, I hope that should be obvious enough. Next, unless you turned it off in your HUD options, you should see your currently equipped add-ons below chat. If your chain fire isn't working, you should first look there. If the add-ons aren't flashing, you may not have set up your groups. Again, you can hit that setup button in the ACAM interface and see if that changes things. It should do that for you. If you're using manual timing, make sure your selected time isn't simply too large of a number as well. The value is in milliseconds, so anything above a thousand is usually not needed. Uh, that would be one second. Alternatively, make sure the number isn't too low either. Chain firing can fail to be effective if the group switching happens before your weapon cooldown is ready. If those don't cover your issues, check in the comments or poke me over on Discord. I'd be glad to help.